Some sample epitaphs. 1988 to 2025. Cancer, not a sword fight like you wanted. 1988 to 2025. Trust me, he was much handsomer then. 1988 to 2025. Not that long, but long enough. And the bones of Steve lie here, while well above he cavorts in paradise with 72 white-armed virgins and an eternal erection. Or, depending on your translation, 72 white raisins and an eternal erection. But really, it doesn't matter much. He's almost certainly in hell. Here lies Steve, so destroy his laptop and water his plants. Here lies Steve and buried treasure. Here lies Steve, currently undergoing putrefaction. Tune in next week for skin slippage, and thank you for watching Coffin Cam. <laughs> Steve lives on in our genes. Well, half of them. A quarter of those of our children. Beyond that is just genetic white noise. Steve lives on in our memories, which are false and fictitious and open to suggestion. Already we can feel his face slipping away. We're furious at ourselves for forgetting. Steve lives on in his words, and he honestly felt that every quote and conversation carried, however slightly, some part of his soul. He really grasped at straws towards the end. <laughs> Steve Curry, to be continued. Steve Curry, no, not the basis, no, not the basketball player, please. Don't make out on this grave. <laughs> Steve Curry, who never found the meaning of life because he was too busy chiseling on Grant. <laughs> Steve Curry lies here with one skull available for Hamlet, two lungs available for cigarette warnings, three hairs available for an army of clones, or here lies cadaver A35B. Your task today is hepatic lobectomy and your time starts now. Perhaps more simply, organ donor, empty box, or Steve was burned and his ashes dispersed from a high altitude balloon. This monument only serves to remind you that every breath you take contains a taste of him and a taste of Hitler. <laughs> Beyond that, it's just some box, pushed up by winter, polished, grand, it's just some box. There's no flame once the candle's put out. There's no story once the page has been burned. It's just some box, so be kind to someone. It's too damn late for me. I meant the I love yous, but not the apologies. And no flowers, please, even if they make you feel better. Do something harder. Do that one hard thing you've convinced yourself is impossible because it would mean being as kind to the living as we are to the dead. Because your kindness can be like lightning arcing down a spine. Your honesty can be belly fire. Please, spare them for someone who can still be warmed.